interview. At Double Fine, we do this thing called the Amnesia Fortnite Project uh, because we forget what we're working on for two weeks and we split the whole company into four teams and then each team has to make a game in two weeks. And both Costume Quest and Stacking came out of that. Um, we gave Lee a team and said, okay, I have two weeks, make a game. And he's like, I have this thing about these Russian dolls and he made a demo for it. And you could tell right away, just playing that little two week demo, that this was a, a fun idea and a different way of doing the stuff that I always loved about adventure games, but a completely different way. Uh, well, so Stacking is a game about Russian stacking dolls. And uh, it's also really a game that is an adventure game with a new take on it. And so, you know, working at a studio with Tim and Ron Gilbert now, of course, like you really want to do adventure games. You want to like sort of tap into that energy. And I grew up playing adventure games, and I loved adventure games. But I noticed when I were playing with certain people, my wife or some of my friends, they'd be like, oh, I don't know what to do next. I don't like this. It's too much searching for objects. But they would really always like the characters and the personality of those games. And so I wanted to find a way to maybe condense some of the things I really liked about adventure games. That sort of like being able to like experience a story, some logic puzzle, a lot of the personality and humor in those games, but not necessarily uh, make them as inaccessible with like very hard puzzles or very obscure ways of doing these puzzles. Um, so I was trying to come up with an idea of, of how I could do that. Like how would I approach that? And I saw my daughter one day playing with a set of actually like Russian, Russian nesting dolls that she was given. And I was like, oh, that really clicked for me. I was like, what if, what if we condense the whole experience down to the dolls are the verbs, they are the objects, they are the people you talk to, and you can combine and stack them and that creates variation in puzzles. It all just kind of like worked to me. It was just this moment and uh, started digging in from there. Yeah, when we were doing one big game at a time, it was you know, my game and then uh, we were doing that for, for years, for 10 years at Double Fine. And so um, we built up this team of really talented people and, and, and experienced people and they all had so many creative ideas. Um, in some ways, uh, part of my motivation was to get out of the way of these people and let them uh, have games of their own, like Tasha's uh, game, Costume Quest, or Lee with his game, and a couple other people who were uh, giving projects to. And uh, it's just great to see that they, um, they kind of been, you know, waiting for this, this, this chance to really step forward and, and express their own ideas. And now they're doing it, I think it shows that we can do it in a way where they still seem like Double Fine games, for sure but they're, 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 they're their own unique take on it. The core mechanic works from you taking smaller dolls and uh, stacking into bigger dolls. So obviously, you, you, know, you really need to be like the small, one size smaller than anyone else. And then really that, um, that was sort of the, the core of the story. It was like, well, what if you were playing the world's smallest Russian doll, this tiny little kid that everyone thinks of as inconsequential? Um, but ultimately you wind up pulling off this incredibly heroic thing. So it's kind of an underdog story that no matter how small you are, you can sort of affect the biggest change in the world. And when I started thinking about what situations a small kid might be put into that would work with some of our mechanics and some of our ideas and thinking about the origin of Russian dolls and that sort of turn of the century idea when they might have been created, um, it really came to me uh, some, of the, some of the sort of Victorian inspirations where maybe like child labor were involved and these sort of dark themes on one level um, that you might see in something like Oliver Twist or like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or even, even Mary Poppins, these sort of like turn of the century kids things, they have these dark undercurrents, but ultimately the kids are empowered and have, have tri you know, triumphed in those situations. Um, and so we sort of built the story around his family. Uh, and his family are, like because they are stacking dolls, they all can stack together and they all sort of like a matched stacking set, if you will. Um, and that's sort of a, something else about Russian dolls that was inspirational. It was just the fact that if you look at these stacks of these Russian nesting dolls, uh, a lot of times they, they have something to do with each other. You know, they sort of almost tell a story just by the fact that those dolls are part of the same stack. They all fit inside each other. And I uh, sort of took that to a logical extension about his older brothers and sisters are all like one size bigger than his mom and dad. And they all get sort of separated during tough economic times by the sort of evil industrialist known as the Baron. Um, I think what makes a game a double fine game is that it has a lot of personality, has a lot of style, and it has character, and uh, so far they've all had a lot of humor in them. And I think you should look at it and be like, that game couldn't be made anywhere else except for Double Fine. You can look for a stacking uh, the first part of next year on both PSN and XBLA.